we're not we're not giving up. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep searching. We're gonna keep trying our best. Now at nine, a family's desperate search for answers continue more than six months after their daughter was last seen. Good evening on Crown for News at nine. Now I'm Vicki Leviak. And I'm Catherine Heenan. Alexis Gabe of Oakley disappeared January 26. In June, police announced they believe that she was killed. Cronfor's Amanda Hari talked to her father today about where police are now searching for her body. There's so many clues, but there's still no Alexis. Alexis Gabe's father, Gwen Gabe, still holds hope that they'll find out what happened to his daughter. Investigators believe she was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Marshall Jones of Antioch, back in January. Jones was killed by officers as they attempted to arrest him in June. Late last week, Antioch police sent the Gabes this clue, handwritten directions to Pioneer, California. Police wrote in a letter that they believe it was written by Jones. The sister found it and um, kept it and uh, gave it to the police when the police arrived at her house to do a to do a search. In the letter the Gabe family received from Antioch police, it says, quote, Marshall told the friend that he was thinking about killing Alexis and wanted to know where the best place to hide a body would be. The friend and Marshall decided the best place to dispose of a body would be by placing it in a septic tank or burying the body in a forest. Multiple agencies have searched Pioneer looking for Alexis. They found nothing. The Gabes even went there with Oakley police last Thursday, but Alexis's mother doesn't think she's there. She was saying, I don't think she's here. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling anything. The family says they're still looking for another missing piece of the puzzle, the back of Alexis's cell phone. This weekend, they plan to search for it near Live Oak Avenue and Stacy Lane in Antioch. That's where police found the screen of her phone. We might be able to get clues as to where she's been. Um, because wherever she goes, she, she takes pictures. This week, the Gabes also received these photos of Alexis from police. These are the last images of Alexis before her disappearance, and they're from a gas station surveillance video. It was heartbreaking. Um, my wife can't join us right now because she's... She was just crying nonstop when she saw it. The city of Oakley is still offering a $100,000 reward for direct information leading to Alexis's whereabouts. Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.